Merry Meet and welcome everyone. Happy Sunday Fun Day. So today the fairies called out to me and uh, they were wanting to speak to you all. They had a message so I decided to pull a card and we got the gatekeeper here. This is a pretty card here. Isn't she pretty? Looks like she's guarding something, doesn't it? She's got her sword. Looks like she's got on armor there. Very nice. And there's the door. There's the fairy door. And here the gatekeeper stands for fairy time. Time shifts and dimensional slips. Now before we go any further, I want to... Um, introduce you to this deck. This deck is the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle by Sue, uh, I'm sorry, Lucy Cavendish. I was mixing that name all up. Lucy Cavendish makes some really beautiful oracle decks. You should go check that out. So, As soon as I saw this card, the first thing that came to my mind is, in a time that is no time, in a place that is no place, in a space that is no space. And if you have watched my teaching rituals or teaching Sabbath rituals, you have probably heard me say that because that is what happens when we enter a circle. Well, that's fairy time too. Where the past, present, and future all exist at one time. And there's many people who believe that. As in, for example, when we look up at the sky, the stars that we see have been dead for many, many, many years. So we're looking at the past of something that lived in the past, but in the future, or the present, I should say, it is dead. And this shows the that life and time is not exactly linear, it's circular. And I'm sure you've all heard the phrase that history repeats itself. And of course it does if we don't learn from it, if we don't grow from it. It will always repeat itself every single time. And that's why information is so important. That's why truth is so important. And here you see her guarding this door, this door to truth. I feel that many have been introduced to something, something that's brand new, something that um, they couldn't even imagine. And you're not really sure if you know how to understand that or not, or if you're ready for that. Because honestly, sometimes truth can be a lot. When we learn to work with the will of the year and we work with each of the Sabbaths, we begin to see the circular path of life. Birth, life, death, rebirth. My high priestess always taught me that the womb and the tomb stand back to back. And that has been no truer words that has ever been spoken to me. So when we learn this idea, 
when we understand that, and I'm sure you've all heard this, the path, um, the history is destined to repeat itself. And it does. If we don't grow and heal from it, it will keep repeating itself. But here, this is reminding us that if we work with our year and we tap into that energy, the past, present, and future, and learn to sit still with this, we will be able to work with that energy in order to create what we are wanting to create. This takes great discipline. This takes someone being very specific and focus. And this gatekeeper is standing watch. She's standing guard over this door, over this door to the dis dimensional slips where you can work with this energy in order to make things happen for you. But, you know, the thing of it is, is that not all are worthy of that. Some people may just be wanting to do that to harm others. And that's not one that's worthy of that. Many people say they want to do many things, but are they willing to put in the time and the effort that it takes to make it happen? Are they willing to commit themselves to themselves, to their path? And that gatekeeper there, she determines if you're worthy or not. Are you worthy to, um, to truly be able to stand up and do that which you want to do? Because it's going to take work and it's going to take time and it's going to take patience. And if you stay present, if you stay conscious, because your, your perception here is very important and you being totally conscious every step of the way this is going to be very very important you have to pay attention and you have to get things and working in the right way for some people you may meet someone that uh, you feel like you have known forever you may connect with them on very deep levels this could be a very a soul connection People come into your lives for reasons. But again, are you ready? Someone could come in from your past or from your future to offer you a new path, a new job, a new way of thinking, something that you have been wanting, something that you have been focusing on and trying to manifest in your life and now they've come here and offered you a path to go that way are you ready this is a very intense reading because I'm getting so many different messages of um, Sometimes there's, there's, I feel that there's someone that a past love is coming into their life and they are wanting to come back and have a future. I am feeling people joining together to even on business ventures that will require you to really step up the game in your life. I also feel that people are coming into your life, new people you're getting to know and are introducing you to new ways and um, helping you to discover your talents, your gifts that you have. And it's about being ready to do the work, being ready to, um, to commit to yourself and make it happen. Sorry about Priscilla, guys. 
She's all the time on my cards when I read. But this is a great time. It feels like something that many of you have been wanting to come in your life is there. The door is there. But are you prepared to walk through it? That is the main question. Are you prepared to walk through it? Thank you for listening to the reading, everyone. Like I said, this is an intense reading because there's many different messages coming across here. It feels like some people are going to be doing a shift in their own life. They are going to be moving. They're going to be stepping up in life. I can see new relationships, marriages, um, walking paths or new paths that you never thought that you would walk. Going in completely new directions. It's very interesting here. Remember, you can, if you work with that energy, you can help yourself create your future. But you've got to commit to yourself. I hope you all have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Merry part until we marry meet again.